comfortable. So you might as well call it Ani Man because Mark didn't do nothing but get his ass whipped on season. We finally made it to season two. And I'm ready for some more fraud activities. So this season starts right after Omni Man's best dad parade of putting his son through trains, beating him to within an inch of his life, teaching him not to respect women. You know, the usual dad norms. But somehow it seemed to finally got through my boy because we cut to him and Immortal duking it out. I'm not gonna lie, I thought they would just spar until I saw Immortal start hitting this nigga with a heat smash from Tekken 8. So Immortal had Mark on the rope because it's Mark. And if you haven't noticed, I'm not calling this nigga invincible because ain't a damn thing invincible about him. That's just Mark. Mark Sebastian Grayson, otherwise known as... Girl, not the I'm man. Seeing how sorry his son is, pulls up and slices off a of mortar's arm. I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty wicked after this, cause bro just catches bro's punch, hit him with a nasty three-piece combo, slices his head off, and tosses it to Mark so he can squish it. But I'm a man that had damn near 10 seconds of screen time and already did everything that Mark could. The fact that Mark's evil and still ass, I know Omni Man disappointed, cause shit, we disappointed. So we find out that Mark- Bro, there's no way this video's getting monetized, bro. <laughs> GG's. Basically snaked the whole squad and joined no. his dad to take over Earth. And you know, I would've rocked with this if I didn't feel like Mark's whole purpose for this was to get his dad's approval. Like, come on, bro. We know this not your body. So we cut to this bastard Stockman looking ass nigga who's trying to make it to a secret hideout. But when he gets there, Omni Man and Mark pull up with of bad intentions. There, Omni Man starts making quick work of these scrubs and they try to sneak him with a ray gun. Which the way they was building this shit up, I would've thought it'd been a kryptonite of Ventramite. Omni Man just brushes it off and spears this ugly piece of shit to another dimension. Then bro starts trying to get kinky with Omni Man, but Omni Man wasn't on that type of time and it dropped this gem of a line. You too will die. Sure. But you should have died at birth. And that's a fact. So we cut back to Mark battling Eve, and for the first time ever, bro is actually overpowering somebody. And then he turns Shorty into a vegetable. I can't even lie. I wasn't expecting that. But of course, this is a different dimension because our Mark is still over here simping over this dumb hoe Amber. Anyway, Baxter Stockman recruits the twins. This is going to all these different dimensions, recruiting himself to combine all their knowledges together. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what this nigga plan is. He speaks in fucking poetry, but I guess he wants to help everybody out in every single dimension, which bro that is the dumbest shit possible you are not god relax buddy plus we always know this shit never works out i got five bucks that bro turns evil by the end of the story anyway he wants to combine all their knowledge through this machine a little narcissistic you ask me because why it always had to be you i'm pretty sure you not the smartest nigga in every dimension buddy and you say you want to get every single nook and cranny of their knowledge but what if your dude was just homeless and didn't know anything about the world who you gonna do then you just gonna miss out on that dimension yo this nigga plan is stupid but anyway we cut to cecil which he cussing out the boo boo squad for being so ass and then he brings a mortar to be the leader which if i'm not mistaken the last squad bro was on got murked by Omni man and he hmm. came up with no game plan but to fight the nigga again and he's the leader all right he also brings on this black guy called bulletproof really we just gonna let this slide. So the twins and Baxter stop and get the machine working, but Mark gets the drop on him. Starts getting a couple good licks on the twins until Baxter summons more from different dimensions. But they still were no match for Mark and all of his invincibility. Get it? Because invincibility. Yeah, Mark got his ass banked into a bloody pulp and stomped out like he was in the hood. And Baxter sees Mark getting his shit split in, so standing on his morals of belief, he takes off the helmet and loops the whole building. But bro really just took all of his different dimensional selves and cut their lifespan. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, fraud watch. Anyway, the Boo Boo Avengers and Dr. Robotnik pull up and ask Mark if he's injured. Like, I get you getting used to your body or whatever you call it, but nigga, are you dumb? Do you see this nigga? So after Mark claps some amber cheeks, bro gets slid on by a mortal. I'm not gonna lie, this nigga has to be the least threatening nigga out of all the superheroes game. I can literally go make you in DC Universe Online. Pipe down, buddy. Why the hell you lurking around bro house at night? Like, the fuck is you doing hovering behind a light post? Talk about some. I don't trust you. You gonna get your old ass on somewhere? We cut the bastard stock, man. Somehow, bro is still alive. So you telling me these dumbass superheroes didn't search the area for survivors, yet pulled up making some dumbass quips like, I suppose he is invincible, and left. Yeah, this world is doomed, I'm not gonna lie. After Mark uppercuts some mid-villains, graduates high school, and a fucking Martian comes to Earth, we cut to the boo-boo gang, and it's already going to shit, because this nigga immortal is smashing a team hooker. Like, bro, you ain't ain't been on a team for five minutes yet and you already smashing somebody i'll tell me it's seven billion people in the world and y'all can't find no one else to smash but niggas on the team so we cut back to market apparently it's been multiple sightings of fake batman problem being with that bro got off by Ani man so mark heads to midnight city 
of course this nigga is in midnight city but dark wing is beating the dog shit out of this crook mark pulls up and y'all already know no matter the odds mark is always gonna be sorry because this nigga gets hit with a nasty two-piece combo dark wing wasn't finished yet wheeze mark's punch and combos bro into the damn shadow verse but i guess mark finally got tired of me talking shit on him because he finally started standing on business as soon as bro started making out my plan is the right way ass speech mark yoked this ass up and said nigga if i'm here we here black man figured he wasn't really cut for this life and got his ass knocked out but moving on with more side quests because march pops off the king of atlantis mark now thinks he has to marry a busty fish but cecil didn't get the terms of services update what mark actually has to do is duke it out with a fish invincible how we go from battle beasts to fighting five and below Diagon? y'all already know mark is getting his ass whooped but after fake Diagon gets loose and threatening all the Atlanteans, bro start feeding Larry the Lobster's hands. On a side note though, cause nobody gives a fuck about this fish. Adam Eve, yeah, her family been going through it since the destruction of Omni Man and Marcus caused her dad to basically lose his job. She's been trying to help her dad by creating stuff out of thin air, but her dad won't accept mainly because it's pride, which is stupid. But I bring this up because Eve had built the community park with her powers trying to help people out and be a generally good person. But it ended up collapsing and injuring a lot of people because the area wasn't safe to be built on i just wanted to get y'all take on that in the comment section because she is in the wrong technically and she definitely should have contacted people before building a damn park with a fully functional water fountain like what the hell is that water coming from anyway we cut the alien that alien thing that we saw from the last episode from the first season and bro is trying to find someone strong enough to protect planets from a vulture might hence why bro became mark's friend which is sad because his ass don't know about marcus grayson and his art of selling the bag but when his discovers a molar in the council where alan reports to it's his job to find out who it is so we cut the bro at a restaurant enjoying date night with his lady and he gets Surprise, instantly snuck by some viltramite and they all old as shit too so you know they strong it's like they can't scrape from bingo night so they start asking Alan about mark but bro try to make jokes and start getting a literal dog shit beat out of him like this is bad they not my boy eye socket out of him beat him with his own arm and turned my man into a donut it left my boy posing for an album cover somehow bro survives when we find out that the main unk bro was reporting to was the op the whole time he can't trust them old niggas them niggas stay grimy another little side tangent from the main story about rex and duplicate or whatever the fuck her name is this whole situation is dumb she literally likes this nigga because he died as many times as her if that ain't the most sorriest shit i ever heard in my life so you fell in love with this nigga because he gets clapped constantly no diddy i swear these hoes find anything i love a nigga for so meanwhile mark gets pulled up on by a celebrate who's planning at risk and asks mark to come help out and guess who's waiting for him when he gets there motherfucking army man like this gotta be the dead oh, beat of dead ever beat alive. things i, I have I ever like, seen in my life bro this nigga called his wife of 20 years a pet beat his son to a damn bloody mess decided to come to another planet and bang hey, yo, bud that? coochie yeah this a new low i'm not gonna lie my boy. oh yeah and this thing has another like kid yeah nolan's top three he ain't two or three but i'm not gonna lie i can only hope to have wee wee is good to put shorty through the pain he did debbie because walking barefoot through the whole city is beyond bonkers bro so basically the village minds find out the omni man went awol and is on the way to slide so he wants mark's help to fend him off which i don't know if he knows or not <laughs> your son ass buddy but mid speech the vilcher demons pull up one and all the smoke omni man sends mark to get his wife and kid to safety but it failed because steve harry pulls up on demon timing y'all already know it's about to go down because steve did not waste no time straight up pimp slapping marcus mark tried to run up again but got his ass molly walked straight into the ground but omni man makes the save and starts running fade but these two start duking it out and steve low-key giving omni man a run for his money but bro wasn't locked in all the way and got his gut sliced open and a stalagmite put through his stomach the battle's not over because there's two more and i'm not gonna lie this nigga mark already look out of it like damn nigga, i get vilcher mites get stronger as they get old but you couldn't learn karate or something the omni man mark pull up to the ops just to see half the species already dead like damn these niggas work fast the last two bingo club players pull up and honor man takes the nigga leaving the old lady to mark wait a second because you're nolan's son i'll make this quick nigga is that a zula her crazy ass then came to another universe to wreak havoc. Anyway, we cut back to Omni Man feeding hands to Larry Bird, but Mark getting his ass handed to him. So Omni Man has to make the save, and even Bro had to let Mark know he trash. But yeah, Omni Man, this is what we've been watching for 12 episodes now. But I have to give it to Bro. He arguably gave one of the best pep talks in the series. Cause that shit 
actually works. Mark start locking in and feeding the hands to Azula. Like, bro was dead ass beating her ass. But he couldn't finish the job, so Omni Man had to finish it for him. It's okay, though. I'll give Mark a solid 7 out of 10 for this performance. Just as they think it's all over, Steve Harvey pulls up and straight up breaks Omni Man's back. Then, bro, gets snatched up by the ops and Mark gets decked in the face and told he has to conquer Earth. Or they come in and do it for him. Damn, y'all couldn't get my nigga a Uber or some shit? I've been framing from talking about the Boo Boo Squad's fights too much because they ass. I kind of have to now because it's kind of important to the story. But basically, this nigga Marsha, he's stuck onto a rocket ship. His pets, who are parasites, are coming to Earth to try to take it over. So Mark oh, goes yeah, out with the Boo whole, Squad to help him. This whole side plot was kind of dumb. Like, meanwhile, while these lizard people pull up to a military base. Also, Mark brought his brother back home with him and has to pay child support now. Mark and crew make it to the ship. And basically, the black nigga fuck is for everyone because this ding dong punches one without a second thought. And now the whole ship of squares are after him. Meanwhile, Rex and the side dupes meet up with the lizard people, start scrapping. For some reason, Duplicate took the biggest nigga in the room, and I guess she thought she was really doing something. But in my eyes, this nigga was not taking no damage. So he got tired of playing with her and straight up squished her ass. And that's when this shit got real. So Rex starts getting banked, and Small Girl takes out the chameleon looking nigga. I don't even know what the fuck that nigga even did. He was just there, kinda had a cool uniform, but he's still trash at the end of the day. She tries to help Rex, but gets her ass gulped up. Like she literally got eight. And if that that wasn't bad enough her ass tried to grow inside of him pause and literally got crushed because it's not so diesel like when the f they bring muscular to invincible the rats finna get banked but he wasn't going for none of that and slices up the lizard bitch starts boxing up the big nigga i guess his ass was still hungry because he straight up bites off rats hand bro had to find out you can't just eat everything because he got his head turned to tnt but hold on w rex a gun to the back of your head name five ddg song <laughs> this DDG on no no that's, nigga that's clear. Nah. But Rex somehow survives this shit and starts nah, beating the like dog shit out of this weak ass lizard king. He literally starts stomping bro ass out. Meanwhile on the ship, the main scrub squad was able to escape the succubus and get everyone out safe. So moving past a lot of yap yeah, and relationship shit we don't care about. Alan, oh yeah, Alan's alive and the uncle that we thought that killed him was actually a Viltrumite and wanted to make Alan stronger to give him a Zenka abuse by almost killing him. Yeah. Pulls up and updates marks on everything that's happening. Makes so sense. while on a date with Amber, who I have to say has grown on me a bit, mostly because of Zazzy voice, they get pulled up on this Vulture Bite named Anissa who threatens to kill Amber if Mark has a follower. So she basically yaps and says humans are going to die because of their own greed. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, we already know humans suck. Y'all are better. I swear all these damn villains say the same shit. But amidst they talk and Mark gets a distress call because a fucking kaiju pulls up. But this time, Anisia joins him. Y'all already know what time it is. Mark starts selling the bag once again. So Anisia pulls up and straight up one shot this kaiju. Not gonna lie, this shit was gangster as hell. But even after that, Mark still isn't going for the whole Viltrumite domination thing. So Anisia gets tired of talking and straight up deck Mark's in his dome piece. Then she follows it up with a double axe handle to the fucking skull. Mark said these hands raised to eat for everyone and tries to get some shots off just to get his ass up, sent to kingdom come she really hit this nigga so hard he started skipping on water but mark still trying to be mr tough guy and gets his dome rocked again i know bro brain in there just moving around like a pinball then she just yokes bro up into the sky like he a little kid or something and start pimp slapping him knock on line and they said that was kind of sexy man. hey yo what you trying to get into bruh God, it hit my line. But I know this bitch did not just drop this bitch from the sky. Art, my nigga, it might be time to hang up the boots, my dog. Nah, it's I'm definitely time to hang up. Ain't gonna like, lie. Like, bro, she just hit you so hard, she caused a fucking earthquake, my nigga. This shit is getting Like cold. a level three like, You know how hard two, you gotta hit to cause a tectonic plate to move? Then she literally kills this nigga and revives him. Fraud King strikes again. To make it even worse, this nigga gets dumped the same day. And if you That's thought that tough. was bad, this nigga family is being held hostage. But Baxter Stockman, who hasn't been relevant since episode one, pulls up yapping, takes Mark's family hostage, and sends him to the dinosaur dimension. So after escaping the dinos, this nigga Baxter Stockman literally just chucks Mark's brother. But W mom, because she makes an excellent save catching him. But y'all already know, it's time for Fraud Invincible once again. Because Mark, you just seen the nigga teleport you when you dashed him. Why the honest fuck? did you do it again but after this 
meet Spider-Man. He makes it back again. But after threatening Mark's family again, he sends him through another portal. Then bro started straight crashing out and we see all the different marks from different dimensions. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We kind of need those marks because our mark is fucking trash. <laughs> we the only dimension when our mark gets his ass whooped constantly. But after getting sent to a different dimension again, he comes back and smacks Baxter with the Fortnite gun. But bro pump fakes on Mark's family again and sends him to the walking dead dimension. And this one I started hating this nigga Baxter. Because Debbie starts telling him about herself and basically calls him a bitch. So his response is to choke slam her through a table and break her arm. Like I know I couldn't been the only one that wanted to jump through the screen and beat this nigga ass, bruh. Like bro, yeah. get your big nut ass brain on somewhere. All these damn dimensions you traveled across and you still don't got no bitches. Ain't that a shame? So Mark, after getting sent through 10 different dimensions, finally gets the plan to wait it out. And guess who comes sticking they big fat ass dome through the portal? So Mark took the opportunity to straight up spear bro and then he sees what happens to his family. Then Mark finally started locking in, took bro for a flight outside and slammed him into the ground. Y'all know this ain't invincible without Mark having at least one more sorry moment because he started getting his ass kicked throughout different dimensions bro. Mark said he was tired of that shit and gave Baxter the meanest left hook of his life. But Mark wasn't done yet, follows it up with a clean straight, flies up and catches him lacking again and then stole Anicia's moving double axe handed him into the ground. Then bro gave him the most deserved ass whooping in the entire show bruh now that's oh bro i don't know if that car messed the end of the video like that bro but um there'll be a little bit there'll be a little yeah. bit bro